I think one of the really scary things for a parent of a child who has a complex medical condition is that they, they aren't always with them. They can't always predict how the day is going to go or what decisions that person's going to make. And yet one of the goals of being a teenager and being a young adult is developing independence and developing the ability to make your own choices. If you're familiar with um, apps for calendaring, right, that, that will describe what you're supposed to do at various points of the day. And there are also apps for task management that maintain a to-do list for you that you can sort of check things off. This is kind of a blending of the two of those things. And so what the, system, what the user sees with the system is that at any given point in the day, once they've finished their current activity, it will offer them a set of activities that they can choose from where any of those activities could be done next and the rest of the day will follow through successfully. It conglomerates or it keeps track of all the tasks that a youth has to complete in a day or an adolescent has to get done in a day and it helps provide choices to them about when and how these things can be completed in two different ways. One is it helps keep track of the coordination of schedules and time but then it also provides sort of a visual output or the opportunity for the teenager to really see downstream what kinds of consequences will happen if they make a particular choice. The system is designed to work with the basic look and feel of a mobile calendar app. There are options for adding, removing, or modifying an activity. In addition, this is where the users are presented with their options when multiple activities come up for their schedule at once. The timeline moves chronologically left to right. Each activity is entered as a new row and multiple activities can stack when they overlap. When these decision points are reached, the user can choose to do their activities in any order. The user selects their preferred option on the left-hand panel and is then shown what impact this decision will have on their other scheduled items if they choose to confirm. Similarly, users can opt to do something else entirely if they have the time for it. Users can select other from the list and postpone all of their scheduled activities as time allows. The changes to their scheduled items are shown in the same way. This option is unavailable if it means they won't have time to finish another scheduled activity. These decisions can impact activities at different times of the day as well, giving users the option to do showering in the evening if they skip it in the morning. Once the user has made their decision, they can finalize their selection and see the schedule adjust to the new change. The activities they didn't choose will have their start times moved back, and new decision points will be available later in the day. Thanks to the shared family schedule functionality, other users who share this schedule will be able to see these decisions and changes reflected on their own list of activities. Parents or caretakers can be informed when their child decides to add an activity after school on the fly and how it will affect the timing of necessary shared activities or medical care. Users can add items to their daily schedule, which will be reflected in the shared items of other users in the system. So I think when we talked with families and when we, when we talked with teenagers who have complex medical conditions, uh, many of them described having certain medical care routines that they have to do at a repeat time every single day. So one example of this would be something like a breathing treatment that, uh, that a teenager has to stop their day and participate in. The group that we had in mind are kids who have an increased burden on them because of their medical care. So they have more to remember in a day than most people have to keep track of. And something that's true about all adolescents is they're not as efficient at problem solving these things as adults are. So scheduling is difficult for everyone, right? And the more experience you have, the better job you can do. And so adolescents and young adults who are just moving into being independent have very little experience and can make mistakes. And that's, that's true for adolescents, whether they have disabilities or they don't. Scheduling gets complicated just by real life, real life conditions. So getting up in the morning, it's raining instead of sunny. So you have to have different gear, that gear you have to put on and go to your work site or wherever you're going. I feel it would be really useful for a lot of the students who are really learning that finite time management, how to utilize your 
schedule as an adult and how you have to flex your time and reprioritize and actually being able to see it and it moves and shifts automatically so you can get that visual piece there. So the technology that, that we've developed um, is something that other platforms could use to increase the flexibility that a user would have in using the system while maintaining dependability that everything that needs to get done will get done. And that dependability is something that especially parents and caregivers are going to want to make sure that is, is present for their adolescent.